on guys welcome back to the channel it's been a minute it's been a minute but we're back today because we got a little car part we're gonna install on the whip um i know it's been a minute since i posted a video but today we're gonna make one so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get straight to it we're not gonna talk about nothing how it's been too long since i posted none of that so if you guys are new make sure to drop a fat like comment subscribe because we got a little package right here that we're gonna be doing on ruby that is long overdue we finally pulled the trigger i said you know what it's time to finally do this ruby needs this as you guys can see from me showing kind of the backside and the title on the video we are finally going to be installing the euro tail lights no it's long overdue but it's never too freaking late finally got the package here we're going to do a little install for you guys throw you guys up on the gopro so you guys can kind of see a little bit about it if you guys are you know new into installing car parts on your car or stuff like that or if you just got a mustang here you go this is going to be the video for it so yeah like i said Support your boy, drop a fat like, comment. Let's get this install rocking and rolling before it gets even more bright and hot out here. Yeah, so first thing is first, pop open your trunk and you're gonna wanna clean whatever you have in here. I got a bunch of stuff here, so we gotta make sure we get rid of all this, little microfibers and stuff like that. And you wanna have a nice little clean surface. So then once you have a nice clean somewhat decent clean uh area right here to work on there's going to be these little tabs right here there's literally going to be one two three i believe four this one's already off for some reason but you're just going to screw them literally off with your finger guys highly suggest putting these somewhere where you're going to remember because you need to put them back on don't be like me that i've done other times where you lose the bolts completely so i'm going to set these aside right there you should be able to take off the plastic piece with that plastic piece guys and you have a somewhat decent clean area here you see this little carpet liner that you have right here you're going to want to take them off either with a flathead screwdriver or if you have the push pin little thing that you could buy that makes it easier uh, i'm going to just use a flathead because i don't have it but as you see right here there's a bunch of 10 millimeters um right here that you're going to have to take out uh, i believe from the video that we saw it was this one this one and then there's one back here and then you could see that there's already the tail light outlet right there so should be pretty simple let me go ahead and grab my flathead take off these pull this carpet liner back so you can have access to get the one over there and yeah let's do it you guys as you guys can see we took off that little pin you could just move this to the side the most you could um take them both out and like i said these are gonna be the 10 millimeter so right here you're gonna have one two then you're gonna have that other one right there so you just get your 10 millimeter screw those out and then the tail light should be able to just wiggle out and you guys should be good so taking out all the bolts and you have a clean surface you're gonna go back here i already went ahead and unplugged it but there's gonna be this little thing right here let me try to take you guys closer whatever it's super easy to pop out it literally just slides in like this just take it out just like that and you'll have it and then the tail light should be able to just come right out Let's see if i can do it with one hand yep boom just like that wiggle out the tail light you guys can see this whole little piece right here we'll just put that to the side just like that and then just push that and this whole tail light piece comes off boom here it is here's ruby in the flesh with no tail lights at all uh, i'm gonna go ahead and probably clean that up as well because it's it's hella dirty so just grab a microfiber towel clean it up a little bit and then you'll be good to go also going to be doing an unboxing on the tail lights because i actually that's my dog over there crying like he usually always does because he's not down here 
but this is my first time actually opening up the tail lights i got these from ebay guys if you guys know this car literally is built off ebay i've gotten a lot of car parts off there they're super cheap there's a bunch of different varieties so yeah we're gonna go ahead and um, open these in store sheesh damn look at this boys look at this damn that tail light is freaking fire that's fire okay so we're gonna set up this one right here and then we obviously have our other one over here don't mind my dog guys Boys, this mod is long overdue. Oh my God. Look at this. Tell me this is not fire. Sheesh. This is my first time literally seeing these guys. So I got these, I kid you not, off eBay for a freaking steal. They were for like 190, 195 brand, completely new um usually these euros they'll run everybody 300 400 bucks depending on where you get them i was like dude i'm gonna look on ebay i literally found them on here so much cheaper people on facebook marketplace y'all be taxing bro you guys be selling your used ones for like 300 400 bucks that's not what we're gonna be doing i got those i got these off ebay for literally 195 and look at this sheesh so see, literally the same connections. You plug that one in into the main over there. And that's it. You got your 10 millimeter things right here. And that's pretty much it, guys. But look at that. Oh my goodness. Long overdue, guys. Boom. Perfect. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get this installed now. First thing you're gonna do, get this piece, slide this bad boy in here, put that main piece right there. Oh my God, that looks so fire, jeez. That looks so fire. Okay, cool. So yeah, you'll literally just slide them right back into place. Oh my gosh, bro, that looks so fucking sick. Um, it's such a, long overdue mod and this is literally on every mustang now but it's like when it's on yours it just hits different boys okay i'm gonna go ahead and put the 10 millimeter screws back on uh connect it to the back piece and then that'll be pretty much it and then we'll do it on the other one and see how it looks you guys so then after you got both of them put on close your trunk oh my gosh that looks so fire bro sheesh such a simple overdue mod that we needed to do on her but it looks so clean when you see it on the car now oh my god i look Oof. jeez let me throw you guys onto the other camera so you guys can see the quality a little bit better guys look at these tail lights oh my gosh bro this just made ruby look so much better from the rear end jesus all of these amazing oh my gosh this looks this looks so far jeez oh my god i'm a my happy camper for sure what we are gonna do guys is we're gonna give ruby a wash show you guys some more clips on how the tail lights look uh because right now she is literally filthy so i'm gonna go ahead and wash her show you guys later pick up the camera later and uh yeah but let me know so far looks so fucking good Right, you guys well finally here finally installed the tail lights we got them on ruby she is looking absolutely beautiful and washed her up 
just a little bit because she was super super dirty so now she looks a lot cleaner than it did before but guys let me show you guys how the tail lights look enough yapping i want you guys to see these euro tail lights on ruby right now and let me know what you guys think Damn. Guys, not gonna lie. I love how this looks. This was so long overdue, and I think like every Mustang has it now. And we were just holding off for a very long time until we finally pulled the trigger. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. It's time to do it. And guys, this looks so clean. Ugh, I just think it looks so so nice makes the rear end just look so much better yeah i wanted to show you guys a little bit about you know ruby this install i know it's been a minute since we posted a video so i was like i gotta make one for this install for all the people that don't know about you know the channel don't know how to install something on their car i was like you know what let's do it so yeah guys i mean let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys liked how the rear end looks on ruby we have some other stuff coming to the car as well too somewhere here in the front i will give you guys that hint but she's little by little coming along building it exactly how i like it so um yeah i'm super excited let's see what we end up doing drop a fat like comment subscribe join the channel i am gonna post the other mod that we're gonna be doing to the car whenever it gets done it's in the process right now so hopefully in these next couple of days it'll be good and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace